I'm Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and this is Mind Power. Hi, my name is Bryce Tomlinson from AHeartToWitness.com, and today I'm going to do my very first Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus tutorial. And uh, at this point, I've um, just bought Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus from Magix, and I'm still awaiting them uh, sending it to me. So you'll probably notice on the uh, top of the screen, it'll say download version. So um, I'm still waiting for the box to show up in the mail, and I've got uh, something like 19 days left on the trial. Hurry up, Magix, please can't wait. Anyway, um, what I'm going to teach you how to do today is something really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to make a video loop. Now, um, for those of you familiar with multimedia, it's, um, you, it's, it's a very common practice to use um, uh, an endless loop piece of video that uh, you can run as a background for text or for a presentation or something or just as stock footage uh, during during a clip uh, during a, a piece of video so it's a very common practice to have seamless endless loop videos and and today I'm going to show you how to make your own video loop so what we need to do first is we need to find our clip of course you're going to go into import I have uh, set up a camcorder backup folder where I have all my extra footage uh, from my camping trip that uh, I also put up on YouTube. And um, there's a whole bunch of these uh, video clips and I'm looking for stuff that was recorded on the, the uh, 28th through the 29th and so on and so forth. Uh, most of it is very short clips and we can preview it here in the preview window. And I'm looking for any particular clip that uh, is one that I want to loop. Now, this is the one that I want to work on right now. It's a nice little video clip of uh, a spider web that I shot. And uh, most times you want these clips to be um, 30 seconds or less. We'll zoom out and you can see that this, this clip is about a minute long, which is really way too long for it to be practical. Um, one of, the, one of the things you'll notice about your clip is that typically, unless you're using a remote, the beginning and the end of the video will have some certain amount of tripod jiggle. So as you look, as I start this over again, you can see these leaves in the background. There's a little jiggle on my tripod as I push the button on the camcorder. And we want to cut that off. So we want to uh, use the down arrow to pause the video right there. And we'll use the razor blade over here to cut the video. Now we click on that piece of video and use the delete key to remove it. Now once you cut off the extra piece of video you want to move this down to the uh, zero on the timeline and then of course out here we want the video to be a maximum of maybe 30 seconds so out here is 30 seconds right and we're gonna make it a little shorter than that and you'll see how. Um, of course at the end of the clip you're going to see another little uh, jiggle of the tripod as I push the button again. But we won't have to worry about that because we're cutting it off at the 30 second mark. So we delete it there. Again, hit the delete key. So now we have this one clip, and which of course would not be a seamless loop if we just looped it. The end frame would not join up smoothly with the beginning frame. So we want to do things in such a way that it will join up smoothly with the beginning frame. So at around five seconds or so, we're going to use the razor blade again. And we're going to take this piece of video and move it all the way out to the end. And we're going to take these, all these pieces here and move them back down to zero. Since you don't need the audio, you need to ungroup using these chain links here where it says ungroup and then delete the audio tracks on both of them. Most people are not interested in what you have on your audio unless you specifically recorded an, in an interesting audio track. So now we're going to select 
the end piece of the track, which as you see, does not join smoothly with the other track. If you just skip right to that part, it has a sudden jump. And we want to eliminate that sudden jump by moving it inward and making a smooth fade. And so now it will smoothly fade into the next piece. So that is, that's where our loop uh, actually happens. And then it just jumps from the end frame back to the beginning frame. And that's where you have the smooth transition through the fade. Some people would say, well, I can see that. However, truthfully, by the time you've hit about the 20 second mark, uh, your brain is, is not really focused on the content anymore. And so that fade will pretty much happen very seamlessly without most people noticing. Now you go to export your video, of course. So you go to export video, uh, file, export video. I choose to export my videos as MPEG format only because that's what my camcorder puts out and I want to put it back out in the original format. If you click on the advanced tab, you'll find something very important in here. And that is uh, the smart render uh, box here. Smart Render is very cool in that uh, it will allow you to re-render uh, uh, stream video directly back out to a new MPEG file uh, without having the video re-rendered. However, it has an interesting side effect sometimes, and that is that sometimes uh, during transitions you will have uh, little jitters or um, uh, desynced video. So in this case, I have unchecked this box so that um, it renders every file and the video comes out smoother because of it. Of course you want to set your quality settings the way you want them. In this case I'm just you know pretty much going with the default DVD format. Uh, since this is my second uh, narrow path video I'm gonna call it narrow path 002 and click OK. And now it is mixing down the video as you can see and when it's done, it's going to come up and play the video and you get to see what it looks like. Okay, and our video comes up and starts playing. It'll approach about 25 seconds and then it will fade into the new piece. You see how smooth that was and how it just went right back to the beginning without any kind of, a, any kind of an interference in the video. That's my tutorial for today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.